Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on life through music. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. It is fantastic that you have joined me today. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on the silky smooth stylings of Boz Skaggs. And in particular, the song, We're All Alone, when I looked at the fact that sometimes we as partners <laughs> and lovers have the opportunity to whisk ourselves away from the world for a while when it gets emotionally overwhelming. So I trust you enjoyed that one. <clears throat> well, we go from there to a guy, a singer-songwriter, who uh, was born in Nashville, Tennessee in 1978. And between 2006 and 2017, he has released six albums. And we're talking about Christian singer-songwriter Brandon Heath today. Now, I've talked about the Christian genre before. I've talked about the fact that probably this genre, unlike any others, goes into the inner workings of what makes us tick as humans. And with a couple of songs in particular today from Brandon Heath, this really demonstrates this fact really, really well. What Christian singer-songwriters are trying to do, all they're wanting to do, is just to um, just to make the world a better place through thinking and thought about what makes us tick as human beings. So I encourage you to stay with me today because I'm never going to push anything down your throat. Um, I only pick videos which are going to... Um, encourage and support you in your life journey. So Brandon um, ha is a Dove Award winner. Now, if you don't know what the Dove Awards are, that is awards celebrating Christian music. So if you win um, an award, a Dove Award, you're doing really, really well indeed. And also he is a Grammy nominated artist as well. So the thing I love about Brandon Heath I just love the way his approach to to life, the way that he just thinks about stuff and the way that he is always putting a bit of a hope out for us to be even better human beings than we are. He sees the potential and he sees the incredible promise that we have as humans. This is what makes this guy so compelling. Yeah, and I spoke a little bit a little bit earlier about the fact that the Christian music genre goes into places um, that gets us to think and to discover who we are. Well, there is one song in particular, Brandon's, that I wanted to look at today. And this is this song, Wait and See, which came off the What If We album of 2008. And in this particular clip, which we'll get on to a second, you see um, him... It's a bit of a biographical, biographical account of him growing up. The fact he wasn't that good in school, but the fact that he sort of thought that, well, I can just try and keep to what I believe and we'll see where that goes. Uh, one of the things I love about this particular clip is that is all the, all the people that he, um, in a sense, shows a telescope. And as they look through the telescope, they see the potential of what they can be. It's such some beautiful images of firefighters and ballerinas and trips to Paris and all this sort of other stuff that, you know, there is possibility and potential in all of us. That's certainly what this song is saying. I think um, it goes one step further, though, because quite a few times um, in this song, he talks about that I myself am an emerging story. I myself as someone that is continuing to grow and to develop and that I have a, a hope, I suppose, in, in, in my God and his God to say that, well, I'm just going to put my hope and trust in that to see where it goes. Because I kind of believe that you have got me and you have got me where you need me to be. I'm not going to try and, um, you know, push it. I'm not going to try and achieve um, um, quicker than I should be because timing is everything in this world. And I suppose he's just holding it to life a little bit loosely to see where, where it will go. 
And I think there's something quite cool about hanging on to love a little bit loosely. Because I think there's something good about having space in our lives just to be available to whatever crops up. You know, if we're so... Um, if we're so much into our goals and our visions and our dreams and achieving it and that's it, well, we miss out on the opportunities that we have in this world to be able to make a difference, um, to be able to be a positive influence in someone else's life. You know, so for instance, you're in a shop and, and the shop person is having a particularly horrible day and, you know, Customer, the last customer has been nasty and they're just having to deal with it because there's another 10 customers waiting. If you say, oh, hello, um, thank you for looking after me, or that's a lovely smile, or just something, that can be the difference between someone just collapsing at the end of the day or being slightly le less stressed and perhaps even a little bit happy because someone has taken the time to actually acknowledge them as a real person. I think we've always got to remember that um, the people that we interact with everywhere are real people. And just like you and just like me, we all like to be encouraged and supported in our journeys. And so we as human beings have an opportunity to be a positive light in this world. And certainly um, what Brandon Heath is singing in this particular song is, well, I want to be the best I can be at that. Because it's more important for me to be a positive influence in this world than anything else. Um, and so, you know, there's the encouragement really. And in fact, there's another song of his too, which I've got, now, got today. And this song, Give Me Your Eyes. And in particular, now we're not as in like, it's not a gruesome thing. <laughs> when we talk about your eyes, he's talking about being able to see the world in a different way. Um, Perhaps not from a from a selfish or self-centered point of view, but from the viewpoint of other people. You know, everybody has their story, everybody has their journey, everybody needs encouragement, everybody needs support. And so what he's saying is, please give me the opportunities. I suppose it's a little bit like a prayer, really. Please give me the opportunities to see what you see and to make a positive difference in people's lives. And I love I love the setting of this particular song because it's in an airport and he's supposed as he's picking up his luggage and um, leaving, he just notices the people around him in a different way. And he wonders what their stories are and wonders what they've been going through and what they've been thinking and how just through little things we can be an encouragement to others we just need to look. I can think of, let's think of an example. Say, for instance, you're in a line in a shop and you know that behind you that there's a, there might be a mother or a father with, with a child that's not very happy. Well, the choice is to either, you know, just stay in the line or maybe, just maybe, you could let, the per let them go in front of you. Because I'm sure they're really, really embarrassed and wanting to get out. And so you could just make their day just that little bit easier by letting them go first. I think it's, it's just being aware of what's around us, just being aware of where people are. And you know, it, it doesn't take long um, for you to come across someone who is struggling and who might actually need support. And you might just happen to be that person. That's what the song Give Me Your Eyes is all about. It's all about seeing the world in a different way. I think both of these songs together are just encouraging us to be the best people we can be. Um, knowing that, well, first of all, we are working a work in progress, but there's something exciting about that. There's something about waiting and seeing what will emerge and what will evolve over time. And as we are doing that, we are looking at the world um, in a different way to see how we can be a really be a positive difference in it. That's what both of these songs are um, encouraging us all to do today. Really well written, really good clips, and uh, really, really encouraging and thought-provoking as well. 
So um, I trust that will all be an encouragement for you today as you consider your inner journey a little bit more through the invitation of both of these songs. So on to the clips. Um, both of these are official clips and both of these songs came off the What If We album from 2008. Um, you'll see what I mean about Brandon. He's just got that way about him. It just in his very... Um, almost, uh, you know, nothing special, but compellingly thought-provoking in the in the stuff that he writes and the way that he shoots his clips. Just incredibly beautiful, and it encourages me definitely in my own journey as I consider both of these stories for myself. So both of these are official clips. As I said, they came off the What If We album of 2008. Um, so the links to both of those songs are in the description below. Um, so look at one of those or both of those or either of those and just relax knowing that I'm not pushing anything on you at all with these songs. And I've also included, by the way, my video uh, from last time when I looked at Boz Skag. So if you want to look at that one as well, that one's there for you to recap on. Well, that's it for today. Um, if you have um, come back for another video, fantastic. And if you have hung around to the end of this one, well done indeed. It's really, really great for you to do that. I am enjoying the engagement with this channel very much indeed. Well, that's it for today. Next time, we're going to go on to the iconic soft rock stylings of the band, American band, Bread. So until then, I'll catch you around.